morning. November 11th, lest we forget. Um, I'm just going to be puttering around here in the shop a little bit. <clears throat> I was going to do some goofy stuff and do the whole weird clickbait thing. I was going to start off with dart sport number two, but I think I'm just going to be right up front with you guys. And, uh, Bring you on to the new project. This belongs to a friend of mine, Dwayne. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and see what to do with it. My hands are kind of full. Reasons unbeknownst to me. So, look at that. She's a beaut. So, there we are. We're gonna call him our sponsor. But that's his car, Dwayne's. Uh, he's gonna be uh, providing all the parts. And uh, we're gonna start off with a little review here of what it is. Uh, 69 Mustang Notchback 302. Uh, restoration was started and abandoned. And uh, I'm going to pick it up from here. Now, there's a few things. Uh, it needs a windshield and everything behind it and everything below it and everything in front of it. A little bit of rust on the there. Uh, something going on there. A little bit of rust down there. The uh, rear frame rails, although cheap, they need to be done. Uh, so yeah, the interior is pretty much out of it. Let's open a door here. As you can see, the floor was professionally hacked. There's some stuff there that's got to be done. It's got my favorite wheels on it. And I like those. Big and littles. These aren't little enough, and those aren't big enough. So, whatever. That's irrelevant at this point in time because it will get new tires. So it's a uh, four-speed top loader. We're not sure what it's from. I'm gonna pull a starter before we even get started here, and we're gonna run some numbers on the on the run some numbers on the engine to identify because we think they're in as a unit. It's got a clutch slave, so it's hydraulic. Um, cap and rotor look new. Uh, there's some suspicion about the um, cooling system having a leak, so we're going to see if we can identify that too. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go for a roundup some uh, hoses so we can see what's going on, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Well, fire's going, heat's on. Uh, did my first little test already. Uh, capped the water pump and the thermostat housing and pulled the plug out of the top of the thermostat housing and started pouring water in it. And it looks like that's a failure. So, this is where we determine whether we proceed with this engine or not. So, I shone, I shone a light up and it's coming out can we see? Uh, no, I didn't bring a light either. I'm not going to fetch it. Uh, there is, in fact, a frost plug out. Expansion plug, core plug. Don't correct me. That's what they are. And uh, this one's behind the motor mount. So it looks like, regardless, engine's coming out. So there's that. Um, Always something interesting. So I mentioned this has got that top loader transmission. Whoever dismantled some of it. Uh, where are we here? There. Oh, I see what it is. It's zoomy. No more zoom. I didn't ask you to zoom. So yeah, bolts on here, shifter up through floor, rods going through. That's all missing. 
And uh, we started shopping around for top loader shift linkage for this three speed with an overdrive, we're assuming. And uh, they ain't cheap. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, what are people thinking? Three bolts. Oh, we'll just pack it off there. Uh, floor pan, like I say, was professionally hacked. So there's that. I guess it was two tubs they bought. None of this is welded to the back, the rear torque boxes. Uh, what did they do here? Oh, they cut that e-brake cable off. Good to know. They cut that one? No. Brake lines? Apparently not. Oh. Yeah, so that's new. Uh, yeah, so I gotta do brake lines to see if it has brakes. This is rusty inside, but yeah, these uh, rear frame rails, they're rough. But uh, they're 30 inches long, so that puts us up in here. Solid area. I can dissect those. Obviously, it needs a gas tank. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some work. Yeah, this rear torque box is not fastened. Oh, it, oh it's plug welded from the top. Well, she's going to get some more welding. Some more hammer work. Tie all that in nice so it can seam seal decent because you can't seam seal these big gaps. That's horrible. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep plugging away here. And uh, that's a miss, but uh, I'm going to message the owner, Dwayne, and see if we need to. Uh, what do we need to do? Continue, see if it'll fire, run. That's always interesting. It's not stuck, at least. It was last officially uh, on the road. And what did he say? 92? Maybe? Maybe before that it was parked? Anyway, I'm going to see what he says. We we'll, might do a will it run yet and uh, go from there. Yeah. You saw my earlier video. Frost plugs popped out, engine's got to come out and that. Well, that just blew right out of proportion. It changed color. Oh no, it didn't. It just changed body style. Uh, pushed the Mustang out after uh, talking with the owner, my buddy Dwayne. And uh, well, an interesting discussion came up. What would you think about a putting a 4.6 into that 69 Mustang? Hey, I know somebody that had it done in a 71. So we got him to come over and we got a good look at his car. It's nicely done. Um, not many things I would do different. So, Mr. Duane is on the hunt. Uh, we're going to see if we can find a, a running, driving, uh, pre-anti-theft Crown Vic Grand Marquis Lincoln Continental. And we're going to move on with it. So in the meantime, it went in the shed. I put this buggy in here. I'm just going to fiddle with it maybe a little bit tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're just going to pick away at stuff. Why not? Um, I might bring that truck box in tomorrow and start on it, do some metal work. I need a change, so. That's where we're at. Um, once that project starts to move forward, I was going to start this as a 69 Mustang number one. Um, I don't know how I'm going to title it yet, but anyway. Uh, like I said earlier, November the 11th. We have no snow, none in the forecast. Oh, well, those clouds look like they're floofy snow clouds. Some more over there, but I don't think so. I heard a riding mower today, or a lawnmower. So, that's rare. It has happened. I do recall cutting grass on November the 12th, I think it was one year. Anyway, 
uh, that's it for now. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I changed it. You heard that, eh? And uh, we'll see you again soon.